Hey guys, it's Julia here, and as you guys can see, I have this computer that looks very similar to one of my computers. However, this is a different computer because this has an i3 in it and a Windows 7 sticker. Now, this is a Dell Inspiron 620. I'm going to be doing something interesting in the video, so someone gave me this computer, which I'm going to end up giving it back because I fixed it because... It had weird issues where it didn't want to power on and I kept messing with it and I got it to power on and I'm going to be giving it to them. But before I do, I'm going to test something out. Now, I'm not going to keep this on the computer, of course, but I have this disc right here, which is a Windows 7 Home Premium disc meant to reinstall Windows on that system. And I'm pretty sure it is that system because the second disc I have here is drivers and utilities for a Dell Inspiron 620. So this is the driver disc for it. And these two discs I'm gonna use in the video. I do have all these other interesting driver discs and stuff, as you guys can see if you wanna look through these. But these are for other systems that I don't have, or just their old systems. Adobe, some really interesting stuff. More driver discs. There's a lot of interesting discs in here that they gave me, even an office disc for Office Home and Student 2007, Dell Optiplex disc, and an XP disc that could potentially be for that dimension I have. Webcam manager, well, but we're more focused on these two because this is what we're gonna be using. Now, they've never been opened before. As you can see, it's never been opened. The seal is still on them. So we're going to try these out and see how it works because they've never been used. I do have a hard drive in there. So we're gonna see how it works. And I'm pretty sure they're for the computer. Well, I know the driver's disc is this one probably because it's seven, so. Anyways, let's try it. All right, guys, so I am back. I'm gonna test this. I am going to have to break the seal because, yeah, it's sad, but you know, I wanna try it. So the only way to do that is to break the seal on this. I'm gonna open the DVD drive. We're gonna put it in the DVD drive. And we're gonna see if this is meant for the system. That drive does not sound good. Hope it's not failing. It does not sound good. I don't know if you guys are hearing it. Nope. Okay, I think this DVD drive's broken. Well, the disc looks fine, but I'm pretty sure that DVD drive isn't. So let me go grab another one. All right, guys, so I got another DVD drive, an external one, and we're gonna try that. Hopefully it won't affect anything. I mean, it is a DVD drive, it's just USB, but it's the only way that we could get it working because the DVD drive seems busted on the system. It sounded really bad. I don't know if you guys heard it on the camera or on the recording, I should say, but it sounded really bad. I think this one's working. Windows is loading files. That is a very good sign. It is working, guys. This disc works. I wanna see what the Dell recovery looks like. This is gonna be great. Why does it sound so bad? Jeez, uh, this thing's vibrating like crazy. What is wrong with this disc? So it says starting Windows, so it's looking normal. It's not looking that special. It may not even be that special. It might just be a regular Windows disc. Which I really hope that's not the case, to be honest. But part of me feels like it might be. Okay, it looks like it's loading now. I think it's just taking time for whatever reason. I mean, this looks normal, of course. This doesn't look special at all. My language is English. Next, install. Setup is starting. 
I wonder how this installation is gonna go. And then we'll try the driver's disc afterwards. Windows 7 Home Premium. I don't think it's SP1 because it doesn't say SP1. Oh well. We're gonna install to our unallocated but make a new partition like usual. And yeah, this looks like a normal Windows 7 installation to me. This doesn't look special at all. There goes the DVD drive going insane again. I don't know why it's so loud, but okay. You know, the fact they included a driver's disc really made me feel like that it wasn't going to be special and I was right about that because this is just a normal installation that looks like it's not even getting far. So I don't know what it's doing, but hopefully it'll move, so... Alright guys, it got to 1% after a few minutes. I don't know what's taking it so long. Alright, it just restarted guys, so we're going to see what happens and see how this goes. That DVD drive is going off again. Okay, it's not booting to it. We're gonna see what happens though, guys. So it looks like it did actually install. It took like 10, 15 minutes to install. So we're just waiting and seeing what happens. Although this looks like a normal Windows 7 installation to me. I don't think there's anything special, but we will run the driver's disk after to get the drivers and stuff and see how that works. Looks like it says set up as update registry settings. I think it's going back into the installer because 7 goes back into the installer. Yep, it did. Alright guys, so it rebooted and it says setups preparing your computer for first use, but we're just gonna let this do its thing and we should be able to get to a normal setup. All right, guys, so we're finally at a setup screen. It didn't take much longer, but let's just put like Dell as a test. I'll ask later about updates. I set the time zone and now it says it's finalizing the settings. I'm gonna take out this disc. Yeah, it doesn't have any drivers. This looks like just a normal seven install disc, but that's just really interesting. So, I'm gonna put this back. I think this means it'll work on any system, even if it's not a Dell. Anyway, we are at the desktop now, and it's installed. I don't think there's anything special. No, there's not. But one thing I will say, I found it interesting that it didn't ask for a product key during setup. Oh, it does say Dell. It's activated apparently. So I think some of these Dell I think some of these Dell discs actually do an activation if it detects it's a Dell. So maybe that's why. And it does have the Dell logo here. So I guess it does do something. So that's actually pretty cool that it activated it. So yeah, it says Dell. It's activated. So that's really cool because some Dell ISOs and disks can do that. We don't have any drivers. So open device manager, yeah, we're missing a lot. So you know what? Let's open up that driver disk. All right, guys, we're gonna install some drivers. Let's install these drivers and then I'm gonna head to bed. You can see there's two DVD drives because the other one doesn't work for some reason. But yeah, let's actually go back because you can see that these are the specs. i3, 2120, 3.30 gigahertz, six gigs of RAM. All right, run, let's just run it. Let's see if this actually gets our drivers. This disc sounds a lot better compared to the other one. Oh, this is interesting. Click here to prevent it from being displayed again. It's detecting hardware. Oh, this is interesting. So how do we install the drivers?
How do we install these? They don't make this very easy. I think this shows what we have installed. Or maybe the checks are what it detects. Because I know we need the AM, or not AMD, but Intel graphics. Oh, well, that's an old BIOS. How do you use this? I might not even use this. I might just look at it because I'm not keeping this install anyway. Chipset. I don't even know how you install them. Is it not detecting drivers for this? Oh, it does. Extract. Well, I guess it does have drivers, but they just make it really confusing. So I guess we're installing chipset drivers now. No, I'll not restart right now. So if I go back, Actually, it did install some stuff. Let's get our graphics. So, Intel graphics. I think you just have to like scroll and click extract. I think that's how it works. And then this will let you install it. Also, why is the language set to that? Let's see if this actually installs our driver. Probably an old driver, but that's fine. I'm not keeping the install, but it is working pretty well. Let's actually restart it. Because I want to see if the graphics did install. So let's see how that works. But what do you guys think of this? I will say, though, I'm a little bummed out that there wasn't a cooler recovery and that it didn't already have all this installed and that Dell makes you install it all yourself. That's a bit annoying. But you know, it's still pretty cool that I had some recovery media. I will say that, that was pretty cool. So, let's see if the graphics driver installed. I'm probably not gonna install the drivers, to be honest. I need to go to bed, but I just wanted to show what this looks like, really. Plus, like I said, I'm actually gonna put an SSD in the system because they're gonna give me an SSD. I'm gonna install probably Windows 10 and then give it to them. Since Windows 7 isn't supported anymore, I wouldn't really put it on a system for someone. Oh, we do have our driver. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we do. That's really awesome, actually. I have a feeling that this disc will probably activate any other Dell system, too, if it detects it's a Dell. Because I don't think it really does anything that special, to be honest. I don't think it's much different from Microsoft's image. We're probably still missing drivers. Yeah, the Ethernet. Let's install that, and then I'm going to call it a day. Even though I don't have Ethernet connected right now, anyway. Alright, so I believe this is probably it. So let's install this Realtek. I could see this a lot better, too, because we have a graphics driver now. Although I probably still need to fix the resolution. And also, these are probably really out-of-date drivers, like, for example, let's see that graphics driver. It's probably, like, 2010 or 11. 2011. Yeah, I figured that. Let's see if it disappears. 
I don't know which one the PCI is, but the Ethernet controller should disappear soon, meaning that the driver is installed. And from there we could get more up-to-date drivers. Yep, it's gone now. It did have a Wi-Fi card in here, but the antennas were really messed up, so I just took it out. I might put it back in, but I wonder if you can get new antennas. You probably can. So yeah, it did install. I'm not sure what our PCI is. I mean, I installed the chipset. Maybe it's the management engine. Let's see if it's this driver. High chance it is that driver. Yep, it's gone. So as you can see, we now have Windows 7 without any missing drivers. I know I didn't install all of those. Let's see if we can change our resolution to something better, like 1080 or something. I don't think it liked that. Maybe 1366 by 768. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna have to adjust. This is like a laptop resolution. It doesn't really look right, but again, this was just for a test. I'm not keeping this. It, yeah, it doesn't have service pack one either. So this is an out of date Windows 7. I wonder if it, what'll say the install date is. Probably today. Yeah, it says today's install date. Not surprising. There's only one update installed. So yeah, this has like no updates at all. This is really out of date. Like original Windows 7 without any updates at all. Not something I would obviously recommend having. Let's look at the themes. I always liked the Windows 7 themes. They bring more personality. I always used this one back then as a kid. This is always the theme I used. I do like landscapes as well, but I like the sounds from this one better. Anyways, that's using the recovery media and the driver's disc. And because of that, we actually got the drivers on here. So that's really cool actually, although they're really out of date, but that's fine. This ethernet driver is probably 2011. Yep, it's 2011. All right, well, I'm gonna end the video here. This will probably go up at a future time. I'm not sure when I'll upload this. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and bye-bye for now.